Hey, what's up? Okay, so I just got this in the mail. Like, literally, like, just a few, I'd say about two, three minutes ago, they had knocked on the door, and this was at the door. So, um, for the person that sent this to me, you who are watching this right now, I, I might actually put this up on YouTube real quick as an unboxing thing. But I just wanted to record this also for the person who sent this to me. Um, uh, I'm not going to have time to test it today um, because I literally have to get ready for work. I'm already dressing up and everything, so I got to head on out. But I wanted to at least record myself opening this up so I can give you um, a sense of my you know, first impressions. So, uh, if you don't mind. And also, I'm a little bit in pain. Unfortunately, I kind of did something to my knee at work last night, which pisses me off because now i got to wait for it to properly heal which is lengthening the amount of time it's going to take before I can test this sword properly. So let's take a look at this. I'm opening it up now. Um, my usual pocket knife is not on my desk for some reason, so I'm just going to be using another knife instead. All right, I can feel where the seam is. So I could... By the way, this was very nicely wrapped, I, I must say. And I feel like a moron now. The reason why I'm saying that is this was wrapped in like I guess a cut, like brown paper and normally when I try to mail a sword to someone that I've sold I you know I'm just from my old job I'm so used to putting them in long rectangular boxes and the measurements that I need to put the box in is not a common one I usually do it 50 by 5 by 5 and it's hard to find a box like that I mean you can't just simply go to the post office and go I want a 5 by 5 you know 50 by 5 by 5 box and um, same thing with UPS. You can't do that either. And I don't really like using UPS anyway. Um, so I have to use U-Haul. And sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. So I end up having to, you know, grab it online. And it costs money, of course. And since it's an unusual um, measurement, it, <clears throat> it yeah, ends up costing a bit more than you normally would. Whereas this looks like it was very, very cheap. And now I'm realizing I could have just did that. I feel like an idiot. So, but by the way, um, yeah, I just want to again send thanks to KK Chung for sending this to me. That's the name of the viewer. And I'll explain to you guys what this is about. Though, if you guys have seen the live stream I did with Skull recently, you might already have an idea of what this is about. So, well, this is very nice. Like, already, I haven't even seen the sword yet, but, wow, like, okay, I, I know this is kind of, like, typical of sword boxes lately that we've been getting from China, where they're sort of made out of a, a type of cardboard, but they're made to look like, you know, really cool high-end wooden boxes, but the reason why I like this one is because of how thin it is, um, and not only that, but the color as well, this is, like, a dark... You know, it's like almost like a, an off black or a chocolate brownish type color. Maybe it is a straight black. It's hard to tell in this lighting. I can find out in a moment. Where is my worm light? I'm going to go get my worm light. And I'm going to put it in here. That way you can see me and the box better. There's my worm light. There we go. See? Hi. This is what I normally use when I'm filming. So, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> and, you know, rubber bands to keep it in place. But normally I see these in red. It's nice to see it in the color other than red, especially since red's actually not my favorite color. I know, people always look at me weird when I say that. They're like, what, what do you mean you don't like red? I don't like red. And that, it's funny thing is the opposite color is my favorite. I, I like green. You know, green is, is one of my favorites. Like green, blue, and black. Those are my three favorite colors. Red ain't one of them. So having, you know, this different color for the box is quite nice, you know, just from, you know, an aesthetically, you know, just from my own personal aesthetic. So this is like, you know, typical, you know, cloth wrapped sort of cardboard with latches. So we're going to open this sucker up. <clears throat> I'm going to see what's in it. Ooh, and a nice sword bag too. So this is what I got so far, guys. Right, right here. And 
Very nice sword bag. Very, very nice sword bag. Wow. I'm... <laughs> I'm giddy with excitement on this. I kind of know what the, this looks like already, but it's 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 one thing to kind of have an idea in your head and, you, and you've seen pictures, and it's another thing to hold it. So I can't, you know, I'm still with that whole giddy with excitement kid in Christmas opening up, you know, his present thing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, it's a lot more elegant looking than I expected it to be. Hmm. I expected, I don't know why I expected this to be on the other side, but no, I, it makes more sense it'll be on this side because this is the side that would be exposed if someone was wearing it. You could tell this was well, handmade. <clears throat> I like this a lot. Okay, so for anybody curious, and it's obvious, well, it should be obvious to some of you guys that this is a reproduction of a Hanzian. But it's a bit different than you guys might expect, huh? Like, this is my current Hanzian, which is this sucker right here, see? And this is the one that I just got. And right away, you can see some differences from the length of the handle to the profile of the scabbard. This is much more compact. It's like it's thinner. Like width-wise, it's about the same. This one, however, feels fatter, thicker. This one is more conformed, I'm assuming, to the shape of the blade itself. Which right away endears itself to me because I like, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I like elegance in sword designs. I don't like overly thick blades. I don't like fatter profiles. I like I like them to be kind of elegant looking, like thinner, thin enough, you know, to, to have you know a bit more economy and um, movement. Like I basically, I don't like too much wasted material, especially since when you have extra mass, it means heavier, and heavy isn't always good. I'm gonna take this off now. Interesting. It's more of a simple wrap compared to. The one over there, like, you know, with this one, you got, like, it wrapped around, but then you also got, you know, the ones that kind of make that X cross-section type thing. This one, however, is just a straight wrap. So some of you, if you remember my Hanzen video, the one where I say, um, is a Hanzen right for you, might be like, well, if this doesn't have the crisscross, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to feel the edge alignment since the grip is round, right? Well, no, it's not. See that? Just like you would expect with a sword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Mm. Okay, right away, I can tell you that this... Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. By the way, this is a lot more... For... I was expecting it when I saw the, um, the thinner profile for the scabbard. I was expecting this to be more form-fitting around the blade so that you could hold it up to down. And, yeah, it's it took a bit of effort to pull this one out. Not, not, not like sword and stone effort, but still enough of an effort. Mm. Holy. This is a lot. Whoa. This is so much lighter than my other one. Let me put this one back in for a second. I just wanted to get a feel. Oh, no. It, well, it, it's more form-fitting, but I'm pretty sure it could still... Yeah, yeah, it could still come out. But it's nothing a little bit of shimming can't fix. It's still rather nice. Oh, another thing you guys might notice. I'm definitely gonna I'm doing a full review of this later, guys. Don't worry about that. But I might as well get into it now. You guys have probably noticed one of the biggest changes between this and this is the handguard. This one has a much more, you know, so much bigger handguard. Because it has a lot more presence. This is looks like just a sliver of metal. And some of you guys might be going, that's wrong. No, actually it's not. If you look at surviving pieces of Hanjin, you will find that this is common. In fact, more common than this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of prefer this one because I like the design of it. But 
I'm not against this either. And I can see myself liking this for a two-hander. And you might be like, what? I'll explain that later. I have to say, though, I've heaped praise on my other Han Zen for its balance. But this, I can tell you right now, the feel of it blows that one out of the water. It's so balanced. And since it's a lot lighter, the liveliness of it is amazing. I also notice how much thinner it is overall. Like this is definitely more of a thrusting type of sword. And now that I'm thinking about it, looking at it the way it is, it makes sense to me. This is supposed to be a closer reproduction of what a Hanzen was like back when they were first being made at that time period. And you could still hold this in two hands, but it's a little too close. This is definitely more of a one-hander. This is definitely more of a one-hander. Because if you, you could if you wanted to hold it in two hands, but again, you don't have that much leverage because you don't have that space in between. You know, which is what you, you need that leverage if you got a two-hander, you know, for, you know, more authoritativeness with the cut. This, a lot of this, this, this definitely has the feel of, you know, really like one person like hand making it. Like I, I, you really get that sense, you know, just from the way this is like a nose frills sort of hand guard and pommel. The scabbard itself, you know, while it has a really nice black lip, um, lacquer coating, this you can tell is hand painted. Not that it has bad perfections, it's very pretty. The hanger is also just a solid piece of brass. And this also a solid piece of brass. By the way, this is also a little bit more authentic. You notice how the wood of the scabbard is not exactly flush with the ends of that, unlike with my other Hanzen. You do see surviving pieces where it actually looks like that. So once again, this seems to be striving for, you know, a more of a Oh, sorry, my knee. Um, it's, it looks like they're striving more for authenticity than anything else. Oh my God. Oh, this is the feel of this. Oh my God. And this is a live blade? The, you know what gets me about this weapon? It's so much lighter, but yet there is still a sense of authority with the cut. Like, you can feel that power. It, it doesn't feel insubstantive. It's not like I'm trying to cut with something where the point of balance is all the way close to the hand. It still has presence to it, you know? And it's just, it's so lively. Like I can easily see myself just doing boom, point hit, you know, getting the point exactly where I want it, getting, you know, getting those um, perfect thrusts where you need it. Boom, right to the face, or just like that kind of thrust where it flicks into the, the, um, the target. But at the same time, you know, you could make it a quick, like striking cut as well, which is something that you do with Dan as well. Hmm. You're definitely going to have to have your hand a little bit closer to here. Like I'm feeling already that if you choke up too much, this is going to dig into your finger, which I could see a lot of people doing this then, which is something that I never really liked seeing that. Considering that this is supposed to keep your hand from going over, you're going to have to be here. And then, like, if you do extend the finger, then it's going to have to stop right, you know, at the back of that. If you're choked up and you're doing that, it's going to, like, scrape up against your finger. So you have to, like, have your hand a bit further back. But then again, that is more consistent anyway with how you're supposed to be holding these things to begin with. God, I love this. The point of balance, where is that at? Ugh. Where is the point of balance at? Hmm. Slightly, no, no. This looks like five inches. 
five, maybe six. One, two, look, stay where you are. I'm doing this by eye, I could get with a more exact measurement later. But this is definitely like around one, you know, one, two, three, four. I'd say about six. I'd say about, about six, six and a half ish. Which does, that's probably, you know, some people going, that's a little bit too much. But considering the light weight of this weapon, it, you don't, it doesn't feel like a crowbar. It still feels lively in the hand. And I'm assuming that they had to push it out a little bit further just so you can have that authoritativeness when you're going for the striking cut. The real test of this is, you know, I am planning on getting a live version of this so I can do some test cutting. But man, I am loving the design of this already. This is, this is quite nice. So yeah, um, I must say thanks to KK Chung for um, sending this out to me. And I'm definitely going to be putting this thing through its paces and doing a review on it. And hopefully I'll have a live version to review. But I mean, I'll, in the meantime, I'll definitely do a review on this one. But this is very, very nice. I'm liking it quite a bit already. I mean, it's just, it's just first impressions, you know, again. Um, but so far from the impression I got... Wow. Actually, something else. I, I, uh, before I cut this off, and it's, yeah, it is about time for me to leave now. Gotta get ready for work. But uh, I, I have to see this. I'm just curious. This blade, which as you can see right away, has, you know, it's, it's you know, a bit more substantive. Like this one's a wider blade than this, which obviously is going to help with how light it is. But now I'm just putting this. Notice, by the way, that this one's longer. By This is a 32. And this, I would say, is like a 34. Yeah, this is 34 inches, guys. 32, 34. And I, I have to say... I'm used to using 32 one-handed. 34, that's like, whoa. Like, we're getting into rapier territory now. And, I mean, considering the profile of the weapon, this is like going into kind of side sword, almost rapier territory anyway, isn't it? it it's, it's, wow. Wow, 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 wow. There is a big difference between this and this. You know, just in terms of feel. And this this makes, it's funny, this makes this feel, actually, you know what? I'm going to be fair. I was about to say that that makes this feel clumsy. It doesn't. This still feels light in the hand to me. I don't know whether it's because I'm so used to using two-handers, you know, with one hand. So I don't really feel the weight with this one, which is one of the things I've always loved about this weapon. But I do have to say, I appreciate the lightness of this so much. This is, I mean, the, my arms are going to be less tired whipping this one around. Though admittedly not as, like, it's not like this is going to super tire me out. But this, just, wow. It, <laughs> it, it, there is a difference in feel. There is definitely a, a more of a, a lightness to the blade than that one. But I will say, just right off the bat from first impressions, not by much. Like, it doesn't make this version feel like a crowbar or make it feel like, oh, my God, why am I wasting time with this? But I appreciate the feel of this a bit more than that one. Like, just the, the, just the lightness of this. I'm loving it a lot. So, yeah. Um, again, great sword so far. I can't wait to um, really put this thing through its paces as far as, you know, me um, doing, you know, a review. And basically, the most I'm being able to do with this since it's not sharp, um, I guess I could sharpen it if I wanted to. But um, what I'm going to be doing with this is uh, just, I'm going to be practicing with it, going through my drills, talking about how it feels, taking a really good look at its construction and go on from there. 
So yeah, I just want to give you guys a first impression. And yeah, so far, what I see, <laughs> from what I've seen, I like. So hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, thank you, KK Chung, for um, sending this out. Um, hopefully you get your check soon. And um, cause I'm already sending it out. And um, yeah, catch you later.